Hello, I'm Rob Bradshaw, I'm a librarian at Spurgeon's College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a data from a stock take from an OPN 2001 scanner into Circa Heritage. Now, I have connected the, the barcode scanner to the computer and I'm running the OPN 2001 companion application, which I've downloaded from the website. Now I'll put the link to the download in the description below. And I've altered the settings so that the scanner will display only serial number. You can untick all of these boxes, click on save to file. And you see it automatically gives the name barcode CSV. Let's go to a different location. And I'm going to create a folder to put it in, which I'm going to call test. And I'm going to save there. I've already done some scanning of barcodes. So I just click on get barcodes. It communicates with the scanner and it downloads and saves those files, saves those codes to that location. And then you can close the barcode scanner and shut down the program. The next step is to open Excel and then browse to the file you, you just saved, because in this format, it won't it won't be able to access, Heritage won't be able to access that file. So you have to do some editing first. And I think this is the, the, the problem that most people have in actually importing data. I haven't seen any instructions anywhere on the help sheets that explains this process. So hopefully this will help us to uh, overcome this, this issue. So I browse to the location. I'm going to select all files, open the barcodes file, make it full size. You see we've got two columns. The first is the serial number or the barcodes. The second is a, a I assume it's some sort of reference number that the scanner produces. You don't need that at all. So click on the column header, hit the delete button just to get rid of that. But still, there's one more step to make for it to work. Select the column. Now you notice, at least the barcodes that we use in our library, they've got leading zeros. There's six figures with leading zeros. But as you can see, there's no leading zeros in these numbers. So select the column, right click, choose Format Cells, go to Custom, and where it says general, wipe that out and put zero 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 six zeros and click OK. And you see they change to six figure barcodes with leading zeros. And then you click on save. The final stage is to import your uh, CSV file into Heritage. Now I've created a uh, test and got into test data so that nothing I do will affect my um, live data for this demonstration. Go into management menu, stock taking menu, configure stock take, assuming you haven't already configured one already, create a, a name. And press return. Just give it a description. You need to choose a location. I'm going to choose main library. Tick the box where it says accessions with status available for stock take. Otherwise, it, it will import all of it, the, um, the statuses, which will be a waste of, of your time. Then click on import browse to the location of the barcodes, which was in the test folder, 
choose all files to show all of the file names. That's the one. Then we save that and close this window. Go into import stock take. Test barcode just to correct one. So that loads that's the same window again. And I'm going to run it. That imports the data. And you can see we've got 1915 records, three in wrong location, three with wrong status. So you can view the log and print it so you can check why, which ones are in the wrong location, move them to the right location in the library. Then you can close that. And then you can use the other options here to check for missing items, do a report of missing items when your stock take is complete, and then process missing items. And that's how you use the OPN 2001 scanner to assist you in, in your stock take. If you like this video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe for future videos so I can let you know when I upload just another one.